Africa. Oops. I forgot to plug this camera in, so the battery's almost dead. So I'm stuck in this position for right now. How are you doing, Ducks? Are you getting better? I wonder if I have enough battery here. If I get a low warning, I'll uh, I'll plug it in. Until then, I'll live life on the edge. Oh, I gotta do medicine too. Okay, everything's changing. Shirt is at the prescribed. Okay, um, okay I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do a zoom in over where I'm doing the medicines. I'll stand on the other side. Oh, a little too much zooming in. Uh, how's that, folks? You can see what I'm doing. This is the PETA edition. This is where we strangle the ducks and uh, ram stuff down their throats.
actually the swelling going down on his foot. On his ankle, I mean. going down. It's working. It actually is working. that sword. Actually, the swelling was going, was, this is the one that the swelling was going into his foot, right into his ankle, and now the swelling is like going down. There's hope for you, little duck. Here, I'll show you this one. This one, the ankle was starting to swell a couple days ago, and it's just starting to go down now. What a nasty mess, eh? situation. I hear that.
head here, I'd let her go and just see how she runs. She's not a favorite <coughs> yet anymore. Are you ready to go back? <coughs> you want to go back? Do you want me to take you back? If you limp, I'll bring you right back tomorrow. Doug's broken. He's listening right now. I think I'm going to take her back. She seems to be uh, over the limp. Because her injury was from too much mating. Take Hey, Duck, you going to cooperate so I can catch you? Not likely, eh? Duck, sit. Sit right there. Stay. I'm going to go over in a corner for me here. Oh, I got the camera really crooked here. Okay, go in the corner for me.
now, but there's only one duck screaming and uh, they're tiny. She, was, she screamed so loud, you'd always think it was cold day the way she was screaming. It was like she was about to lose her head or something. I wish the camera would have been running on the outside stream. You could have seen it. All the geese were sitting along the fence line. And when I came out the garage door and she was screaming, the geese ran. It was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, okay, geese, I'm, I'm, nothing's going to happen. But the geese took off. As soon as I went out the door, so she started losing it. has green diarrhea. That's not good. Green diarrhea is moving in. I wonder which one it is.
up here. Even though it's just going to get dirty again. So the girl with the the uh, bumble foot on the top of her foot, her ankle looks like it's improving the most. And one of them though, her ankle's looking bad. Now they could end up having deformed ankles, but not be in pain, so that's a possibility. Yeah, it's not like it's a music podcast here. Deformed ankles isn't the end of the world. I put spring hinges on the door this one. That was the best thing I ever did, actually, because I have a mouse problem. The mice run through the doors because they can't get in my building. My buildings are mouse The house and the garage are impossible. But they can get through the doors. And uh, since I put the spring hinges on the doors, no mice. Like none in the house. None. So my, I had a suspicion they were always... No, no, no. Uh, but they were always sneaking in through the door. I was right. Because it's the only way they can get in. Yeah, we got a full blizzard up. are all set. I'm not going to bother with the keys. I'm going to leave them alone. But I, I guess I have 
think I'm going to turn the lights on. so nice is to get like about a week solid or nice weather. Oh, it would be such a relief. It'd be like I would take a holiday. <laughs> like everybody's taking a break. From the duck grind and cold weather. Just makes so much work. I gotta get you your supplements done. Stop you from pushing me off the bed for a dart. Okay, happening here. A little bit of a duck shower happening.
my life. She won't say that. Oh, man. She really doesn't like being picked up. You'd almost think that I was like a stranger or something. maintenance ducks. Well, we'll let them soak a little longer. So is the stream working outside, folks? I don't know because I just I turned the camera back on. But I didn't check because I was doing this. Let me put my glasses on so I can read the reply. And someone can tell me. I'm sorry, Doug, but I got to get you to move. Come on. Come on. Let's move. Alright. No, the outside of the stream is not working. I plugged the direct power in. No, we're, we're, we're direct power. It's not on battery. 
I've got it plugged into the power, folks. So it's not working right now? Nothing? Okay. Maybe I gotta bring it back into the house. Oh. All right. Back to the drawing board on that one, eh? Uh. See if I can. Let's some, I'm gonna check something. There's no batteries. Are, you, are people not listening? There is no batteries. I'm getting triggered. I'm just warning you right now, folks. Everything I'm doing. Go. Oh, I got a message from Patty. Matt, the outside stream battery is, battery is low. But I'm not on batteries now. I'm plugged in. I'm hardwired. Okay, let me just go here. How do I get there? Oh, no, no, hang on. Here. Gotta, bear with me, folks. I gotta connect to a Wi Fi. Oh, this is really hard. I'm on a real tiny, tiny screen now. iPhone 6 is small enough as it is, but now this is really small. I'm on a little, little 5 here. No, I don't want. No, no, I don't want that. Why does it say install software? You say later and it still asks you to do it. Alright. Okay. Oh, I gotta log in. Okay. Oh, well, I know why. It's not encoding. The encoder turned off. Okay, it should be live now, folks. Like right now, we should be live. Outside. Why is it doing this to me? Oh, I know. I, I've never been. I've never been. On, uh, it's working. Nope, it's not working, Brian. What is it? It's working. Okay, good. I'm not listening to anybody else here. I can't. I gotta log in. It's telling me I gotta log in with the little tiny phone here. I've never logged into my account with this thing, so I, I don't know. I got it for streaming on the tugboat, if I ever get one, radio control, that's the thing I gotta do this year. RC boat for the Magoon. Oh, oh, don't do that, eh? Don't smash your jacket down with a phone inside. Did you hear that? Okay. Well, hopefully they're tough and they can handle the whacking like that. Yeah, bang. This is getting your groceries delivered. You have five streams going? I'm a serial streamer. I don't want to crack the screen, Gene, but it can happen. It's late. What time is it? It's 10 after 5. You trust somebody to 
deliver your groceries. I, you, like, what, what do they put stuff in your food? It's four fifty nine where you are. Oh, yeah, it's that time here too. And they do well. They do good at putting stuff in your food. You haven't had any side effects yet from the drugs. My duck was in the oven at four o'clock sharp, Jean. It will be ready at six twenty p.m. I'm going to go inside and start my veggies here shortly. As soon as I do these ducks, turn the lights on outside. Can I tell what is wrong with the ducks? Like, guys, am I, am I psychic? Can I tell what's wrong? Plum sauce? No, I, I don't like putting plum sauce on my duck. I like tasting my duck. I don't like disguising the taste of it. Because if you disguise the taste of it, then you don't even, it's not even duck anymore. Masking your food. Why are they in the hospital? Because they got, they got bumblefoot infections in their foot. Plus I'm lonely in my garage and I like company in here, so I thought I'd bring some ducks in. They like it in here. They get baths every day, fresh bedding. They, they got life good. Male, one male, four females. He gets, he gets around. Duck is lamb, what to beef? What? No, there's no lamb, duck comparison. Duck is duck. It's a duck adventure spa. It is. You're welcome for the giggle. My job to make you giggle, make you chuckle. No laughing out loud stuff, because really, honestly, nobody really does that. Snort. You know, try not to snort while you're drinking. The white hospital ducks have always been chilled. It's the, it's, it's the mascara duck. She was whack job, whack. But that's, they're all like that. All my breeders are whack jobs. I don't know, I've been with them for, what, since 2014? And they're not right upstairs. They're, they're, none of them. I can't go near any of them. Well, look at Stripper. She lived with me, you know? And she's whacked. I can't even go near her. The only duck that can go near, that, that is a crossbreed here, not a breeder, is Magoo. But he doesn't have a clue, so. And when I pick him up, he gets a little bit frazzled. But he'll let me pick him up. But I'm, uh, the rest are nuts. They're, they're crazy ducks. They're survival ducks. They panic in a good way. It's called survival, eh? These white ones, they're so docile. That's why, you know, we always find white feathers when it comes to the summertime, like when the foxes and coyotes, is because the white ones are the easiest to catch because they're just, they're, they're stunned. But where are the breeders? They're a different story. They know the deal. You love the English language, Jinga? Well, he, he does. He gets a bit frazzled. He's like, what's going on? You know? He goes from super chilled to like, I don't have a clue, to what's going on? <laughs> it's like... And like, there's, I'm the only bird, I'm the only one that picks him up. And I try to talk when I'm picking him up, and he still loses it, you know? like. But yet he'll let Doug, you know, rub his face and nose in him and the whole bit, and Doug actually sometimes plays with him like he's a little puppy. I gotta stop Doug sometimes because Doug gets a little too rough banging him around. But because Doug thinks that Magoo's like some kind of toy. So he does. He's done a lot of off camera 
uh, playing with Magoo that really wouldn't go over well on the show. People would say, your dog's killing the duck. Uh oh. What about new ducklings? What about them? It's freaking winter here, man. These people have no, cl no clue, eh? Hey, ducklings. Yeah, ducklings when it's 40 below out. Uh, this is, I get triggered by these new people. I'm just not meant to have a fan base grow, I guess. A little Doug Love on the Magoo? Now, uh, I, he, he's, he's special when it comes to Magoo. Ducks, yeah, they hatch in actually 10 days, Patty. We're gonna be streaming live here. We got a thousand eggs in the in the incubator. So if you want ducklings, come back in ten days. Everything should be just happening right then. I'm thinking the ducks have had enough. I gotta get my vegetables happening. Penguins. That's what we're hatching this year is penguins. I, I'm, I'm actually I'm just I'm leaving on the weekend for for Argentina to get the eggs. So. We'll be streaming it live on the channel. So. Deep breaths, there's no body in your freezer. Uh, what veggies am I gonna grow? I'm gonna grow, I, I'm gonna try to find a, a herbal supplement that will uh, help uh, Doug not kick me out of the bed with those straight legs of his. That's what I'm gonna grow this year in my garden. It's not weird, Jennifer. The geese have an unbelievably higher tolerance to the cold than ducks do. I showed you how thick the uh, um, uh, the uh, down was on a duck. It's not very thick. A goose is like seriously, seriously thick. Well, like three inches. Grow some cannabis for Doug, so that he doesn't stick his legs out straight. Medicinal. Doug needs medicinal cannabis. That's what it is, right? And then he he won't do that straight leg thing. It's like some kind of I don't know what it is. It's just like boom. It's like I don't understand it. How he can go from a little tiny ball in the corner of the bed to boom I'm getting kicked out of the bed well Doug's already seriously relaxed though so he'd be comatose Doug's a very relaxed dog except when he hears the uh, the call of the ducks or or he smells something then his lookout it's time to kill I don't think, actually, you know what? I know for a fact, even if Doug was drugged, because I've seen him uh, when he had um, uh, the porcupine quills, and he was drugged like unbelievable, and he couldn't believe it, and uh, they had to double dose him to whack him out. Some dogs have a really high tolerance, and then some dogs you can knock out cold, and that's it. So... We got somebody. I don't know if it is, is it Greek or German. I can't. I don't. Understand, I don't know. Doug takes two thirds of a king size bed. So. And and it depends where he lays, in the bed, will determine, if I get anything, because if he lays like in the middle of the bed on me, the two thirds pushes me right off the bed. I don't speak Russian, I'm sorry, but welcome to the channel. I'm really sorry I don't speak Russian. More Russian I don't understand. 
Now, but if I'm lucky and he lands on the bed on the edge of the bed, then two thirds I can handle because then I got a third to myself. So, push him off the bed, Jack. Yeah, really. Do you not realize that the dog, when he's 135 pounds, he's sort of like Velcro? You know what I mean? Like a 135 pound chunk of Velcro. How does that slide, Jack? It don't. I'm not kidding you. It's like I have to push him off with my feet. And I need a wall to put my back against to push him. Because if I push, I actually slide across the, the sheets. And he doesn't. I've tried. Seriously. I've tried to push him. And it, I slide, and he doesn't. He's Velcro. He's a Velcro dog. Go up down to 10% battery. So I got to do... I, 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 yeah, well, usually I, I stop once I lose my pillow. When I'm pushing and when the pillow no longer becomes mine, I know I'm moving on the bed. It's time to stop. I got to get the ducks here because we're down to 10% power. Time to put the ducks in their, in their things. I got to go get my, my vegetables hopping in here because in one hour and 20 minutes, my duck is going to be ready. And I'm going to have a real supper tonight. Not like I had last night. Last night was it was good, but it wasn't really in my books to supper. It was sort of like a, I don't know, it was not really supper. It was like a snack, you know. Hey little ducks. <laughs> How you doing? Hey. Oh, you're getting tired. <laughs> I'm down to 5%. Oh, I gotta plug it in. That's what I'm doing. I'll plug it in. Hang on. I have that ability. Oh, Doug. Hang on. See, the problem was I plugged it in and, uh, okay, we're back. I plugged it in and, um, I, but I, I had the iPad unplugged. It don't work, you know that? If you have it, if you don't have the iPad, like the plug on the side of the iPad plugged in, it doesn't matter if you plug it into the wall. It doesn't charge. Okay, so I don't know if you missed that or not, but uh, the girl with the bumble foot on top of her foot is not limping, and she's walking around right now. And the other ducks, I'm noticing that sure their ankles are really swollen, but they're standing on them. They're not. Uh, they're not favoring. So that's. Major improvement. There might be hope. There might be hope.
Yeah, because I'm watching right now. They're, they're putting weight on their feet. This is all good. All good. All good stuff. Okay, folks, that's it. I'm going to uh, say goodbye. I'm going to go get my supper happening. I, I'm going to think I'm going to turn the light on outside the uh, the big uh, Olympic light. Let me just check the temperature. All right. and before I commit to this, well, i got to put that little duck back in the uh, 10 degrees. I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to do my supper. I'm going to do my supper. I go turn the goose lights on though, outside uh, the um, um, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, the um, the outside the, the the door. So the geese will hang around the front of the door, so at least you see them because the geese don't want to go in. It's only ten o'clock. There's only ten, 10 below. I know. This, I just realized that there's a duck loose. I totally forgot about the duck. That's the one with the giant bumble foot on the top that I've picked off twice, and she's walking around. Without a limp. That's an improvement. It's only been two weeks. Let's see if uh, I want to see if she'll do a walk for us. Here, how about you walk the runway? Show us how you can walk. See, it's permanently deformed, but it's not uh, all swollen up. See that? Now, see the swelling right there on the uh, the left hand side? Well, it'd be your right hand side, I guess. That was starting to swell up, okay? And I noticed that you can see it sort of shrinking. And the fact that she's walking on it with no uh, limp. So considering how bad her foot was, there might be hope for her, you know? Which, by the way, the, the, the $200 bottle of medicine, it's already half gone. 
We're burning through it with the ducks here. I don't believe it. I'll show you how much we've gone through. I was in shock today when I grabbed the bottle. Half gone. Oh. Okay. I gotta go get my supper happening, and I gotta go turn the light on for the geese. Okay. Well, it doesn't take long when you think about it. You know, you're three and a half milligrams, three and a half milliliters for the, the little ducks, four and a half for the big guy, and you do it once a day. It doesn't take long to go burn through 200. Well, burn through 100, actually, the first 100. Okay. I'm going to go turn the goose lights on, all right? The view of the outside camera is dark, so working. What does that mean, Jennifer? Is that like a new form of language? So working? Jennifer, speak English. It is working. Yeah, I know it's working. We fixed it earlier. Did you just get here? I did that earlier. I'm gonna um, um, I'm gonna uh, turn the other light on, so you can see. That's what I'll do. All right. Good night. Thank you for joining me. Did I do enough streams today? <laughs>